We're coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange and too high an altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Columbia, Houston, negative return. So we copy negative return. Four minutes into the flight, Columbia already 147 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 62 miles in altitude, traveling more than 5,000 miles an hour, on course and on time for its orbit, 150 nautical miles above the Earth. Columbia, Houston, press to Miko and single engine Marone 104. Copy, press to Miko and single engine Marone 104. Columbia's computers now commanding the main engines to swivel again, enabling the shuttle to roll to a heads-up position above its large fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Six and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia 440 miles downrange, traveling more than 10,000 miles an hour. Columbia Houston, single engine press 104, and we're expecting a nominal shutdown on all three engines. Okay, we copy single engine press 104, nominal shutdown. Columbia's main engines are starting to throttle down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. The booster officer reports a nominal main engine cutoff, a perfect ascent to orbit for Columbia, standing by for external tank separation. And the external tank has been jettisoned, a perfect launch for Columbia, a perfect climb to orbit. Seven astronauts now setting off on a 16-day marathon scientific mission.